These motion sensors were some of the first home automation kit that I ever bought, and I now use them all around my house in a wide range of automations. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video where I'll take you through some of my favorite automations, but first let's take a look at the capabilities of these devices in a little bit more detail. Most motion detectors are passive infrared sensors, or PIR sensors, and they detect motion by sensing the infrared energy emitted from a warm-blooded body moving in front of them. These are both Zigbee motion sensors, one from Akara and the other from Sonom, and they are both powered by these small batteries which apparently last a couple of years. The reason that the batteries last so long is because Zigbee is a low power wireless network, and the sensors only transmit when motion is actually detected. It uses no power when people aren't walking in front of it. If you want to learn more about Zigbee, be sure to check out the video that I made entirely about this topic, which I've linked in the description below. This Akara sensor also measures the light intensity, and I use this information to make sure that my motion activated lights only turn on when it's dark. This is also one of the reasons why I prefer the Akara motion sensor over the Sonoff. I also prefer how it looks, and how easy it is to mount with the provided bracket and double sided tape. The Sonoff looks and feels a lot cheaper than the Akara, but the dome design does make it better for mounting on a roof, even if it does have a smaller field of view. Here you can see the specifications of each device side by side. I use both of them in my house and they do a great job of detecting motion. You'll need to do some experimentation to work out the best place to put your motion sensors depending on the type of automation you want to create. If you want the lights to turn on automatically when you come into the house, it may be as easy as putting one of the motion sensors on the table in your hallway facing the front door. I have mine mounted above my front door facing down the hallway, so that it triggers the lights to turn on as I walk into the house or down the hall. In my kitchen, I have one motion sensor at either end of the room, so that the entire kitchen is covered by motion detectors, and I can see every entryway into the room. I then added these sensors together into a home assistant group, so they're easier to work with inside my automations. You'll need to do some experimentation to find the ideal place to mount the sensors, so they can trigger your automations correctly. I'd recommend sticking them up with blue tack or 3M double sided tape, so that you can move them around before you find their final resting place. Since these motion sensors use Zigbee, you can connect both of them directly to an Amazon Echo 4th generation like this one, as it has a built-in Zigbee hub. You can then create routines that are triggered when motion is detected by one of these devices. You can do some basic things like turn on certain lights, say reminders out loud, or notify you on your phone. You can do more complex automations if you hook your Echo up to an If This Then That service as well. Or, like me, you could pair your motion sensors directly to Home Assistant and do some really powerful automations. I've got a video which I've linked in the description below that shows you how you can add Zigbee devices like these directly to your Home Assistant. Let's take a look at my favorite motion detection automations that I use in my home, starting with home security. PIR motion sensors were made popular by traditional home alarm systems, so it makes sense that you could use these sensors to increase your home security. In my house, I have sensors which cover most of the entryways into the property and I use these to alert me if motion is detected in the house whilst I'm out. I've got an automation in Home Assistant that is triggered when motion is detected on any of my motion sensors. I then use a condition to make sure that it only alerts me if all the residents of the house are away. Home Assistant then sends me a notification telling me where and when the motion was detected. I can then look at my outdoor security cameras to see if anyone walked up to the house in the few minutes before motion was detected. These outdoor security cameras also have the ability to trigger notifications if they detect motion. They don't use PIR sensors, but instead they rely on analyzing the video footage to see if a person or object has come into the picture. I use the camera motion detection events to trigger notifications in Home Assistant, which hopefully means that I'm notified that baddies are near my house before they manage to get inside. I use Unify security cameras, and the model that I use leverages AI to determine if motion is caused by a person, a car, or another object. I used to trigger the notifications to be sent any time motion was detected either at the front or the back of my house, but I kept getting false positives when the wind blew the trees around, or if one of the pesky local foxes jumped into the back garden. I've now changed the automation to only trigger if the motion detected has been classified as a person, and I've gotten a lot less false positives, except the time it thought that my barbecue was a human. AI isn't taking your job anytime soon. The automation for this is very similar to the one I use for the PIR sensor. It's triggered when the camera detects a person. It then takes a camera snapshot of what the camera saw when the motion was detected, and sends a notification to me with the image attached. These two automations make me feel pretty secure, as I know what's happening at home when I'm away from the house. 
When I go to bed at night, I put the house into night mode. This sends a notification to my phone if I've left any doors or windows open and activates my alarm system. If motion is detected downstairs and night mode is on, it will send me a notification and read aloud a message on the downstairs Google speaker and on the Sonos. The hope is that this scares the intruders away. In the condition of the automation, I also check to make sure that guest mode is disabled. I don't want to give my poor mother a heart attack if she's staying over, gets up to go to the bathroom and has the Sonos yell at her. I then have another automation that turns night mode off automatically when my alarm goes off in the morning. I use my Android phone for my alarm, and the Home Assistant Android app can be set up to tell Home Assistant about any alarms that you've got scheduled, and that is what triggers this automation. Another great use case for motion sensors is to remind you about something when you're in a specific place. I used to always forget to take the bins out on bin day, which was really annoying because our bin isn't that big, and the garbage gets collected only once a week. I now have Home Assistant announce a message on my kitchen Google speaker during the evening on bin day. The kitchen is right next to where we keep our recycling and garbage bins, so it's the perfect place to be reminded. Hey, don't forget to take the bins out. I have a helper called bin day, which gets turned on at midday the day before the bins are due to be collected. If motion is detected in the kitchen and it's after 7pm on bin day, the Google speaker will say a message out loud reminding me to take the bins out. It will do this every time I walk into the kitchen until I've taken the bins out. How does it know when I've taken the bins out? Well, I've placed this NFC tag by the door where we keep the bins. When I take the bins out, I tap my phone on this tag, which triggers an automation to set the bin day helper back to off, and that stops the message from being played when someone walks into the kitchen. These reminders don't have to be used just for bins. I've heard of people creating similar automations to remind them to replace air filters or empty the washing machine when they walk past the place where that action needs to be taken. The motion sensors in my kitchen are also used to give my robot vacuum cleaner a bit more information. I use Home Assistant to trigger my automated vacuum cleaner to start cleaning at 2pm and 11pm each day. This is great because it means the kitchen floors get cleaned after lunch and at the end of the day. It was super annoying if the vacuum cleaner started on its schedule while you happen to be standing in the kitchen. It's noisy, it starts bearing down on you like it wants to run over your foot, and I knew there had to be a better way. I now use a condition in the action of this automation to make sure that no motion has been detected in the kitchen for at least a minute before it starts. So if I'm in the kitchen at 11pm when the vacuum is due to start, it'll wait patiently until I've left for more than a minute before it starts cleaning. I have another automation that pauses the robot vacuum when motion is detected in the kitchen while it's cleaning. If I walk into the kitchen, the robot will pause the cleaning routine and stop wherever it is, waiting for me to leave before it starts cleaning again. The final thing I use motion sensors for in my house is the most obvious one, to automatically turn on and off lights when motion is detected. Motion activated lights have been around for decades, so this isn't really a new thing. However, you can now do things in much smarter ways, such as using motion to turn on lights to a specific brightness depending on the time of day. Motion activated lights are a whole topic on their own, which is why I created a separate video about my favourite lighting automations, which you can view here. You could also use motion sensors and automations to turn on other devices, even if they're not smart devices, by using smart plugs. I made another video about that too, which you can see here. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and click the subscribe button to get notified when I release a new smart home video, so that together we can make your home smarter.